Welcome back to our channel where we explore the wisdom of the ages. Today, we have a fascinating story to share with you, a tale of a Zen master who taught us how to turn insults into gifts, showcasing the incredible power of emotional control. Let's dive right in. Our story begins in ancient Japan in a peaceful Zen monastery nestled amidst the serene mountains. Here, a renowned Zen master named Shuko resided, known for his exceptional wisdom and emotional mastery. The monastery, surrounded by lush greenery, with a tranquil koi pond and the gentle rustling of leaves. Inside, Shuko lived a simple life, meditating, tending to the garden and teaching his disciples the profound teachings of Zen. One day, a haughty and impulsive young warrior named Shiro arrived at the monastery. Fueled by ego, he stormed in, disrespected the disciples and demanded to meet the Zen master. Shuko, the Zen master, was calm and composed. He greeted Shiro with a warm smile and invited him to sit. Shiro, however, began to hurl insults at the Zen master. He criticized Shuko's humble abode, ridiculed his attire and questioned the wisdom of Zen. Instead of reacting with anger or frustration, Shuko responded with kindness and grace. He listened to Shiro's insults without a trace of annoyance and offered him a cup of tea. Shiro, taken aback by this unexpected response, grew even more furious. Shuko remained unperturbed and began to share his wisdom with Shiro. He said, In the world, there are those who offer us precious gifts and those who offer us insults. It is for us to choose how we receive them. Shuko went on to explain that insults are like gifts, meant to teach us valuable lessons about ourselves. When we respond with anger or negativity, we are burdened by the insult. However, if we can accept it with gratitude, as we would a gift, we can grow stronger and wiser. Shuko emphasized the power of emotional control. He told Shiro that by not reacting to his insults, he was taking control of his own emotions. In doing so, he refused to let Shiro's negativity affect him. As the days passed, Shiro continued to visit the monastery. He insulted Shuko time and again, but Shuko always responded with serenity and wisdom. Shiro's anger began to wane, replaced by a sense of curiosity and admiration for the Zen master's emotional control. One day, Shiro arrived at the monastery with a heavy heart. He confessed that his insults were driven by his own insecurities and anger. He had come to realize the wisdom in Shuko's teachings and asked for guidance on his own journey of self-improvement. Shuko, with great compassion, welcomed Shiro as his disciple. He taught him the ways of Zen and together, they explored the profound meaning of accepting insults as gifts. Shiro learned to control his emotions, transform negativity into growth, and most importantly, find peace within himself. Shiro went on to become a wise and humble warrior, renowned for his integrity and emotional control. He shared the teachings of Shuko with others, spreading the wisdom of turning insults into gifts. The Moral of the Story the story of Shuko and Shiro illustrates the profound power of emotional control. In a world where insults and negativity are commonplace, we can choose how we react. We can let insults weigh us down, or we can accept them as gifts, using them as opportunities for self-improvement. That brings us to the end of our story about the Zen master who accepted insults as gifts. It reminds us that true strength lies not in reacting to negativity with more negativity but in maintaining emotional control, 
finding wisdom in every situation and turning insults into stepping stones for personal growth. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay updated with more inspiring stories from around the world. Thanks for joining us and remember, the power of emotional control can transform your life. See you in the next video.